So uh, for today's video, I'll be showcasing you guys my YCS topping deck profile of this remote YCS with none other than pendulums. Now, today is Friday, but I already know that I topped it this weekend. So I'm just going to save time on Sunday for things like prayer and God. So today, let's get straight into it. Very simple, pure pendulum magicians with DPE. Pay close attention because this was a breeze. I probably won the whole thing too. Let's get it. So first things first, it is pure magicians. You need to play max out of literally every magician at three even purple poison i'll explain why max out everything at three these are the great ones okay going first all of these 15 are incredible for multiple reasons going second purple poison is why i topped the event very simple you face against you play against sword soul they put up their sorry ass board they put up she shall barone the floor uh impermanence no problem normal sun purple poison the entire board is cleared maybe they have the pop two card no problem normal sun purple poison whole board is cleared normal double iris scale purple poison whole board is cleared what are you gonna do negate the purple poison a lot of people don't know about pendulum they'll probably try to negate it thinking it's a fact won't go that'll destroy a card again then i'll just destroy everything on the field again the card's absolutely insane so you want to max out on all of these then you also want to play three Pensork and two Joker. Since we're playing three Purple Poison now, as well as three Double Iris, Sork... Yo, you guys mind uh, YCS Champion is talking right now? Thanks, guys. So, if you scale these two, Sork becomes absolutely broken when you Pen Summon him because you target the Poison, your opponent's forced to stop it. And you can do a very cool play to chain block the Sork through Pen Call. So, obviously, Pen Call and Sork don't work together. But if you activate Pen Call, you're still legally allowed to activate Pen Sork targeting your scale. Nothing will happen. But it'll chain block your Harmonizing from bringing an Oaf Dragon. Then the two of them go into Baron de Floor, uh, Oaf Dragon, add back the Harmo, normal summon fiber, blah, 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 destroy your opponent. Uh, so, we're going to go to the next cards. Next, also one Tuning Magician. This is your Needle Fiber target. Very, very powerful card. You only need one. Uh, next, these are the three bricks. Obviously, uh, they suck to draw. No shit. But just don't draw them. It's very simple. Three Fusion Destiny. Three Pen Call. Three Duelist Alliance. And for the last of the spells, three Prosperity. So, you're playing a deck that doesn't lose to Droll, right? And I'll explain why. These Fusion Destinies are the way to play through Droll when you draw a bunch of spells. So that's already, like, it's a spell that doesn't play it through Droll. You never normal Joker first, ever. Normal summoning Joker plays it to Nibiru, plays it to Droll, plays it to all that. You save Joker if you have no access to Harmonizer, no access to the combo, no access to nothing. Like, typically, you actually pen summon Joker 99% of the time. No joke. But the pen call, if you start, when you start your turn, post side deck, you activate pen call first. How much are these? You activate pen call first. Because if pen call resolves, Droll does nothing. You pen call the card away from your hand that if pen call gets ash, you still play. That's when you normal do Joker, once your pen call gets ash, or something along that sort. Very easy to play around it. And Prosperity is another way to play through Droll, because you activate Prosperity, you search the Harmonizing. Duelist Alliance searches uh, Double Iris or Pen Sork, it never searches Pen Call. Never lose, ne you never lose to Droll because of that. Duelist Alliance and Prosperity always search monsters. So with this result, Droll does jack shit. And Droll is also, also the reason why we don't play Star Pendulum Graph. You're going to notice the deck has a lot of bricks. These three are considered bricks, as well as the pen graph. What happens when you open two of them? You're not playing. You, you can't, well, you could play because you're playing the best deck, but you can't play well when you draw two of them, especially going second. So this is also why we don't play star pen graph because that makes it five. Star pen graph is good with the magicians, but not good with the bricks. So when you have these four, you're in a perfect position for victory because it's only four and not five. Star is good to have, but it's just not absolutely necessary, especially when you're playing consistency cards like all the, like all of these, all the nine spells consistency cards as well as a maxed out magician engine i'm going to show you guys a combo at the end of the video if i feel like it where you play around all hand traps with magicians you could draw pearl poison all that and still get it just by having four magicians now the extra deck artemis one needle fiber one dagda one verte absolutely insane uh one Celine, one apuza one access code I would love to play two Needle Fiber, but that means you're going to have to play two Tuning Magician. And you don't want to play extra cards that could potentially be Bricks if you draw it in conjunction with Celestial and Dasher. We're building the deck knowing for damn well that sometimes you could Brick with them. In fact, sometimes the best play, and I'm not joking, going second especially, going second, sometimes the best play is you Pen Summon these guys. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. If you draw two of these, okay, going second, it gets a big board. Pen Summon them. Pen Summon them. Pen summon them. They're not that bad. Especially the fact that Celestia is level 4. Sometimes you just go Baguska, Needle Fiber Slay, and Axis Code clear the whole board. 
That's what I did in this YCS to be victorious. So, now the synchros. TG Wonder and Baron de Floor. Needle Fiber is the card that gets hand-trapped a lot. So, Needle Fiber gets hand-trapped. You keep it on the field. They lose a card for nothing. And then it brings up TG Wonder to pop your scythe. Same result at the end of the day. And Baron de Floor, you need it in Pendulums. Don't play it if you don't have it. Time Star, Baguska, MVP of the weekend. Dweller, Tornado, Zeus, absolutely insane. And the real MVP is the big boy. The big boy, Destroyer, Pendulum, Enforcer. Won me like five matches tomorrow. So, uh, next, we're going to have the side deck. Obviously, incredible as well. Now, if you're watching this, because I'm going to be posting I'm gonna be posting this uh, Saturday morning. So, if you're watching this to see my deck list, I have nothing to hide. It's really the only way you do have a chance to win. But Pendulums has something that no deck can in this format. That's called the side deck, a sphere mode. A Lava Golem. A Dark Ruler. What's the most played deck right now? Birds? Nice deck, bro. Ra, I summon you with whatever the chant is. Lava Golem, same thing. See you later. Get clears Oath, clears everything, and then you just destroy them. You do this for every matchup. What are you scared of? Drytron? Drytron? Birds? Mirror Match, which is the only deck you should be scared of. But these clear all that. Except the Mirror Match. Nothing clears the Mirror Match. Now against PKs. It's the only thing that this side deck doesn't stop. Where you get Artifact Scythe locked. We, got, we know how to deal with the taste of our own medicine because we do it on others. This is how you stop it. Called by and th triple cosmic. You side these going second against that deck. So now you have four outs to the scythe lock. They don't put up Baron de Floor. They're not pendulums. They're not pendulums. They don't have a mighty master or a jackal or a Baron de Floor or a savage dragon to protect their scythe lock. You just, they have fog blades that do nothing. Just cosmic away the scythe. Called by the scythe in grave. It's done. And at the same time, cosmic is used for multi purpose. You play it going against trap decks in conjunction with these five. So now against trap decks, not only are you protected against combo decks with Stream of Lava Golem for birds, not only are you protected against Scythe Lock with Called by Cosmic, but now you're protected against back row decks. And I don't even side deck. I don't even side deck this going first. I'm not scared of Droll. I'm not scared of Ash. We build a deck to not care for hand traps. Called by the Grave is a brick going first. This is for Scythe. I don't even play this going first. It just sits there in my side deck. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't. We literally built the deck to not lose to hand traps. If we're playing a demon, then God, yeah, we need this win first, or else we lose the droll. But we built this deck to not care about it. So that's the the winning, the topping list. I don't know if I won yet, but we did top for sure. That's a fact. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, make sure to check out the beautiful playmats on TriffGaming.com. And uh, it's also the sole reason that I topped is because I'm playing on these playmats. You guys can do the same. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next video. Peace. So you guys probably realized by now, then I should show you guys a combo. So I'll just show you guys a combo now that uh, won me seven matches tomorrow. So what you guys need to prioritize is play through Droll, play through Nibiru. Never summon four, four times. Never summon five times until Baron de Floor hits the field. Never. You're prioritizing uh, Baron de Floor ASAP, okay? So what you do is if you pen call a Prosperity or Alliance, make sure it plays around Droll. Activate the card first that if it resolves, you play through Droll. Also ensure that if you activate that card and gets Ash, you're also playing through Ash Blossom. You have to think of both of them when you're activating a spell card or Joker. Very important. After that play resolves, check if they have Droll. If Droll is not activated in the first spell, you pass the Droll on the Ash check. The de next ones you have to pass is the Double Veiler Imperms or the Nibirus. Don't worry, we also play around Nib Veiler. So once you guys understand that aspect, now you have to play through the, the Hand Traps of Veiler Imperm. So after that resolves, you prioritize Pen Summing and setting it up. A Harmonizing Magician, a Celestial Magician, and a Double Iris. You want mainly Harmonizing and Celestial Summon. If Harmonizing Celestial is summoned, you're playing around Nibiru Veiler combined. If Harmonizing Veil, uh, Celestial and Double Iris is summoned, you're playing around uh, Nib Veiler as well. You're playing around, if you pen call, you still search pen graph. So you play around droplets. I know it's a lot of info, but I'll do a whole comp tutorial. Don't worry, you'll know everything when it actually happens. But just so you guys are aware of the actual combo. If I'm going too fast, then uh, think faster. Harmonizing is also always special as Oaf Dragon. Never, never, uh, pen, never normal summon Joker. If you're normal Joker, it's because you have no access to the full combo. Uh, and you're going to play into Nibiru and Droll, both of them. If you pass the Droll test, you haven't passed the Nibiru test yet. Uh, Harmonizing always special as Oaf Dragon. Harmo and Oaf Dragon go into Baron de Floor to play around Nibiru. After that, you go Oaf Dragon to add back the Harmonizing Magician from your hand. This is why you don't normal summon the Joker. You normal summon the Harmonizing Magician. At this point, Celestial Magician, before you normal summon, Celestial Magician will have Iris and Baron de Floor on the field. You activate Celestial Magician, using its effect to Azathoth.
you control Baron de Floor, your opponent cannot Nibiru for the rest of this turn. And if they Nibiru at that time, it doesn't affect your combo whatsoever because one needle fiber resolves this full combo. You go Baron de Floor, uh, uh, you have Iris there, and you normal harmonize it. Harmo and Celestia go into Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber, special Tuning Magician. Tuning Magician go into Artemis. Special Tuning Magician from your graveyard because you have two magicians. Artemis and Tuning Magician go into Dagda. Baron de Floor pop double Iris in the field, playing around Pen Call. Now, uh, by popping an Iris on the field, Dagda triggers Set Scythe. Search Pen Graph, Set Pen Graph. Uh, then the Needle Fiber and the Ver and the Dagda go into Verte. Verte bring out DPE. You now have DPE, Scythe, Baron de Floor, and Pen Graph. Well, that's protected by Pen Call. We're ready for absolutely anything and everything. Valor, Droll, Nibiru, Imperm, Ash, Droplets, Chalice, Imperm, Cosmic, doesn't matter. Every single aspect that they have to stop our board is stopped. Going second, multitude of ways to clear boards. But Guska Needle Fiber Selene Access Code clears everything. So many matchups. Normal 7 Double Iris, Scale, Purple Poison, Attack into their de defense position, Barone de Floor, uh, Purple Poison Effect Trigger, Clear Shishao. Whole field is gone of Sword Soul instantly, just with one card, two cards, Pen 5. There's so many ways, and this is why we top tomorrow. So I hope you guys learned from this, and I'm telling you, if you play this deck perfectly, you're also going to top. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.